a good job I didn't eat the donut. Get the biggest thing through the donut without breaking the donut. <laughs> <laughs> this is filthy bastard. In 20 minutes, your time starts now. There's not a lot of ways to misunderstand that, is it? It has to go through the hole. Biggest in what sense? It's a good question. I mean, something really big ain't going to fit in that hole. <laughs> So you have essentially come in wearing a costume that is meant to look like you're riding on my back, but really it just looks like my face is on your penis. <laughs> as far as I can see. That is filthy bastard. That is filthy bastard. <laughs> and yet, gut instinct tells me that this is going to damage Christian's career more. <laughs> <laughs> it's that disco line. Seems so unfair, doesn't it? I know. I think we should have a look what they've done with these donuts oh, and what they managed to get through them. Simple task, Greg. I'm going to show you Rylan and little Greg. Having a go. Here we go. If you go right in the bush, Alex, get in the bush, a bit further. Are you in? I'm in. I just slide it towards you. Like, no, no, that's the, yeah. Are you all right, Al? I'm all right, Roy. That's it. OK, come with me. Come with me. And then turn it. That's it. That's perfect. Has the cow got a name? Not yet. Well, Linda. That's my mum's name. Ah. So she'll like that. Was she? No. Yeah, OK. Let's do it. Right, Alex, you ready to see the biggest thing that you're going to see come through the, my donut? <laughs> oh, there he is! <laughs> Hello, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. So good. I don't know if this is going to annoy Krishna or not. Clever. It does sort of annoy me, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty clever, isn't it? It's clever. The cow is the biggest thing so far, but it's up to you whether it's gone through the donut. This is going to drive an even bigger wedge between you and Nicola because I am going to allow Ryland passing the cow through the donut. Oh, good for you. Well, the cow is the biggest thing. It's 800,000 centimetres cubed. No, 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 hang on, but the image passed through. No, just show she's made his choice. No, the image <laughs> passed through. So when you measure the image... You'd have to find out what the aperture was and then the aperture would be two-dimensional as opposed to three-dimensional, so it would be a lot less than the 1,500 cubic... I was in a film. <laughs> Friends. We were! <laughs> Greg, are you saying you got the whole cow through the donut? Do you know what? Just because I know it's going to annoy people on the internet, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got the cow through the donut. Come at me. <laughs> Come at me. Make the largest object properly vanish. Largest object to properly vanish wins. You may not use any editing trickery. I don't know any editing trickery. We have one hour. Your time starts. There should be one more word. It's vanished. Mate, that's so clever. I mean, it can be. It doesn't have to be in this room, right? Mm -hmm. To make the largest object properly vanish, is that me? No. That sofa's bigger than me. <laughs> So let's discuss what properly vanish means. Okay. <laughs> to vanish... So it's zero points for everyone yeah. again this time, Greg. <laughs> well, vanish... Because you know it's not possible to make something properly vanish. Oh, that's why we. In <laughs> your opinion, <laughs> that's why we need to discuss it in advance, okay. Richard. It's to, to vanish is to disappear suddenly and completely. Let's just agree. It, it, it's <laughs> it's just going to have to look like it's vanished. <laughs> Otherwise, it's no points again. This is going to be the shittest series of all time. <laughs> The winner's going to be Daisy because she bought some. <laughs> she bought a bottle of wine. In. <laughs> you see that show? It went on for ten weeks, <laughs> and one, one woman, a woman won a prize because she bought some wine. In. She didn't even collect it because she was giving birth. <laughs> right, let's see some stuff. Would you like to see Daisy May Cooper's attempt? Would I? You've got to try to work out how she did this. Taskmaster is probably best known for its large cow that was there. Can you find it? Because it's vanished. Is it not around the corner? No. No. Where is it? It's gone. It's vanished. <laughs> what, what do you think her method was? I don't know, but I, I don't You're know. You're not. Be a bit bored by it. The way you made it disappear is going to have to be impressive. <laughs> 
It's, it's a lacklustre presentation. <laughs> <Luster>. <laughs> well, is it lacklustre when you see this? OK. There we go. Keep going. Really? Really in there. That's good. That is... That looks really good from here. Vanished. I don't understand why you're sort of sneering at me like that. Well, you're supposed to make something completely vanish. Which I did. It, 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 a it, large it, object. It, it's implied that you have to do that in a clever way. And you, you've just <laughs> rammed a cow into a hedge. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you think that's how Siegfried and Roy dominated Vegas? For <laughs> <those years? laughs> I've got this white tiger. What should I do? Just stick it in the fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> stick it in the hedge. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Come on, who's next? We've got to, I've got to get that taste out of my mouth. <laughs> the final person to see is Mawan. Here we go. Come on, Mawan. Behold, a large animal. Now you see it. Now you still see it, but maybe... ..you're looking at the wrong animal. Where'd the cow go? <laughs> Are you watching? I sort of... I understand <laughs> what we were supposed to do now, yeah. How did he push it into the hedge in that short amount of time? <laughs> <laughs> You'd already beaten Daisy by putting the duck behind you. <laughs> <laughs> how did he do it, though? I'll show you how he did it. There was no camera trickery. There was some trickery, like this. You're looking at the wrong animal. <laughs> Where'd the cow go? The cow was never there. That's brilliant. I mean, come on. Thanks. I don't usually milk things, but, you know, when you oh. know the idea... Hey! <laughs> cow gag. <laughs> hey. I didn't even know I was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've seen them all now. Look, the most different in four photos taken by the camera. The camera will spin around three times and take a picture every time it faces the frame. You must not hinder the camera or the spinning mechanism in any way. You must be in all four photos. Most various set of photo wins. Can I just read it one more time? Uh-huh. Thanks. The camera will start spinning in 20 minutes from now. Do you mind if I, um, pop off for a tick? Do you have a beard trimmer? <laughs> this feels like it might be useful, but... I don't know why I'm getting this. Do you mind if I chop a thing up? Oh, yeah, that's going to work. How long have I got left? Right, ready? This won't stay on long, it's not very sticky. <whistles> Meow! <laughs> right, is that it's spinning now? Meow! That's actually very tight. Jamali. Thank you, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to see Lee's set of photos? Yes. Let's okay. see how varied they are. Yeah, so look at the contrast here. A lot of different characters. 
<laughs> this is various phases I've gone through over the years. Do you want to talk us through who character two is uh, with the um, melon breasts and lobster penis? Yes, that is uh, what a character I call melon breast lobster penis. Ah. Yeah. He likes to go on a bike ride, always delivering uh, a romantic flower to his girlfriend. And um, the girlfriend is the... The, ga the girl underneath. The sexy girl underneath. The beneath. girl underneath, yeah. She go doesn't go anywhere without her cow. She rides around town on a cow. She's like a sort of West Country Lady Godiva. <laughs> So it's a um, builder, a superhero, and a beautiful lady on a cow. It's not a bad start. Quite contrasting. Quite, quite varied. Film the most thrilling 30 second sequence wearing the welly cam. Oh, is that a camera? <laughs> you have 30 minutes. Your time starts now. You know me, I like to get things bada bing. Inside, outside, finish, cut them. That's how I like to do my tasks, yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, let's just get the boots on straight away, just in case anything thrilling happens while I'm looking for props. <laughs> I mean, if I go out the front door fall over, that might be the best 30 seconds. <laughs> Lovely. It's an, it's an age thing that I can very much relate to, that Alan thinks that the most exciting part of his film is possibly him falling over. <laughs> <laughs> Next, it's the acclaimed actor and filmmaker, Gus Khan. Lovely. War. 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 <laughs> now, who are you, blood? <laughs> who are you, blood? Who are? Oh. Who are? Uh. Who are? Who are? <laughs> 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 Okay, now I'm going to say something positive, which is I thought your vengeful and dramatic drinking of a glass of milk at the end <laughs> yeah. really, really elevated yeah. the whole piece. Yeah. But the substance of the film is two farmers saying, oh, our blood to each other, <laughs> and then one of, <laughs> one of them throws a welly into the other one's balls. <laughs> I think he started a new genre. It's like a Yeovil Western or something. Oh, listen. The, the... Yo Yeovil Western, that is exactly what yep. he was going for. That's what and... you were aiming for, you yeah. Know? <laughs> Yeah. You've been. We wanted as a, as a filmic piece to throw you into the midst of this beef that we very rarely see farmers have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? His farmer ended up with the cow. He stole my cow, and so beef is actually well, I uh, saw double I meaning. Saw, yeah. I, I saw him enjoy. Oh, was beef a deliberate double meaning? Yes, it absolutely was. What <laughs> 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 to see? And that one is Desiree Birch's attempt. Okay. Cheeky little coffee. Wonder where they keep the good stuff. Let's see. Whoa, okay. Probably not there. Seems weird. And, ah! Oh my God. Okay, that's actually, maybe it's a, whoa, what? Okay, that's somewhat reassuring actually, but. Ah! Okay. Alex, I think the house has turned on us. Whoa. Alex, are you all right? Uh, get out! What? This isn't a task. The house is trying to kill us. Ah! 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 This is the health and safety nightmare! Ah! 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 Linda! Linda! How could they? Huh. Maybe a... It's a duck army! Ah! 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 Yeah. Yeah, that was sick. That was sick. Yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed your film. And, <laughs> and, and, and amazingly, the final duck attack was fairly chilling. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
<laughs> I mean, that house is so full of like years and history and all these little knickknacks. And I thought, you know, some of these have a history, they have a life of their own. And in this one, the house really decided like, we want this bitch out. So it turned on me. Wow. Watching you seriously describe the narrative of that film really does show you what a load of old nonsense <laughs> art is. <laughs> Choose a length for this pole, then guide it through the course. The person who completes the course with the longest pole wins. Every time your pole touches something other than your hands, 10 centimetres will be taken from its length. You have a maximum of 10 minutes. Your time starts now! <laughs> what are the options in the pole lengths? It goes from that length to 7 metres. Where's the course? Let's just get on with it. Big, big poles, get them through a house. I get it. Yeah. Next, it's Claudia Winkerman and Lady Leisha. Here we go. It's not even going to get through the door. I love a challenge. Why not? Let's do it. OK, well, good luck, Leisha. OK, that's fine. I can't do bigger than that. OK. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> so I need to open it. Yeah. Goodbye. If the camera hits something, that's fine. Oh, you've just hit Greg. Make it, make it smaller. Make it. No, stop speaking. Make it smaller. I don't think I can now. Fire in a hole. Okay. Oh. oh. Alex, open the door for me. Please. Please. No. <laughs> One little touch there. Still. All right, it might have touched something then. It sounded like it touched quite a few things. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh. OK. Oh. oh! Alex, be an... Ow! I'm going to have to come through this way. Ooh. Or it's going to touch the door. There's nothing I can do about it. OK, I, I guess it's only touched it tw twice. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alex! I really feel like there's a reason why I'm wearing this now. Oh, you just hit the other. <sighs> oh, for God's sake! Uh, it's sort of touching the ground quite a bit. It hasn't touched the ground. <laughs> da, da, da. I don't understand what I do now. Do I climb through the tires? <laughs> I don't think so. <sighs> okay. That's it. <laughs> that was so nearly brilliant. <sighs> no, that wasn't. It's not touching. It sounds like it's touching. Well. That's nice. Don't. Drives me mad. <laughs> da, 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 da. Are you pleased with that? Yes. Yeah, if you hadn't touched anything, I think you'd be winning this. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are watering. I mean, honestly, um, you should both be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> I've got to stick up for Lady Leisha. She only struck 15 things. Oh, right. Oh, we're we're, we're going to stick up for Lady Leisha, are we? Because the first thing she did is attempt to knock the front door down with the pole. <laughs> <laughs> she attempted to ram raid the house. I mean, Lady Leisha started with a 3 metre 60 pole. Yes. Touched thing 15 times. So we only knock off 1 metre 50. So she ended up with a 2 metre 10 pole. Whereas Claudia started <laughs> with a 4 metre 20 pole, struck things 41 times. So ended up <laughs> with a 10 centimetre pole. <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now! <laughs>